In this video, I'd like to talk about Chen Qigong's L'Instant d'une Opéra de Pékin. Chen was born in Shanghai in 1951. Globally, he might be best known as the music director for that phenomenally impressive opening ceremony of the 2008 Beijing Olympics. <sighs> revolution during which Chen was sent to a camp for re-education, Chen was accepted as one of the few students to study at the Beijing Central Conservatory. As a winner of a national competition in 1983, Chen was allowed to travel abroad to pursue his graduate studies. He eventually became the last student of the French composer Olivier Messiaen studying with Messiaen between 1984 and 1988. Chen said at an interview that he grew up in China being told about this national style, but that he really didn't know what this style was. Messiaen was the first person who told Chen to pursue his own style. During the 21st century, Chen received numerous accolades. L'Instant d'une Opéra de Pékin, or Instant from a Peking Opera, was composed as a required work in the 2000 Messiaen International Piano Competition. In this piece, Chen had the challenge of creating something that was in his own voice and yet also reminiscent of his mentor Messiaen. Chen chose to incorporate elements of the Peking Opera, one of the most popular and representative of Chinese music. In Peking opera, there are two general styles of singing and music. One is the shipi and the other is the erhuang. Shipi in general has higher pitch, a faster beat, and a lighter mode. Huang tends to be more serious, lower in pitch, and slower. Both arias are accompanied by a standard orchestra of stringed and percussive instruments. <laughs> L'Instant d'une Opéra de Pékin is based on the principle of theme and variations. And the main motive or the theme is presented right at the beginning in bar four, where the hands play and we have the right hand playing and the left hand playing and so those are the two main themes or the motives that will be varied throughout this piece right at the opening we have these mysterious four notes Although these notes are kind of spread apart, when we rearrange them, they become which is really the first theme transposed. And so in this manner, uh, Chen creates various versions and permutations of these two motives. So soon after, once the tempo speeds up, he provides the right hand with this gesture. Which is, of course, a variation on this, the first theme. And the left hand plays a different uh, transposition of that. to 
observe how Chen is able to transform these, this very simple motive in very, very different ways. This is another example of the variation. <laughs> He is also using the, the textures and the gestures of Peking Opera. In a central moment of this piece, Chen creates this oceanic, expansive moment using this theme. <laughs> This work contained 196 measures. Several years later, Chen expanded it to 242 measures. And it's this version that I'll be performing today. There's also a later version for orchestra, which can be quite enlightening for pianists. If you ever want to study this piece, I think it would be very helpful to listen to this version. Overall, I think this is an incredibly attractive and effective work, uh, difficult, but quite pianistic as well. So I hope you enjoy this.